So we're going to demonstrate the guttural pouch wash procedure in this patient. The first phase is to pass the endoscope up the nasal passage on one side of the horse's nostril. Once we're at the back of the throat, we look for the small flap, which is the entrance to the guttural pouch, which is called the ostia. The ostia is placed quite tightly against the side of the inside of the horse's throat. So in order to get into the pouch, we use a guide wire to help us dictate the direction of the endoscope as we pass it. Here we've passed into the pouch and now we will exchange the guide wire for a plastic pipe which we can use to perform our wash. It is important to check both sides of the guttural pouch for the presence of chondroids which are calcified chunks of white blood cells and pus which can be present in a horse that has had strangles in the past. As you can see this pouch is quite clear and we can't see any evidence of chondroids. We will now instill a small volume of sterile saline into the pouch which we will then use to wash the pouch and assess for the presence of any small bacteria which we cannot see with the naked eye. Using the endoscope we can aspirate the fluid back out and collect our sample which is then sent to the laboratory for analysis to test for the presence of any DNA of the strangles bacteria. As you can see this procedure is completely pain free and in no ways harms the horse once the sample has been aspirated, we can quite simply withdraw the tube and take the endoscope out of the horse's head. To facilitate this procedure, the patient had received a small amount of intravenous sedative to help keep the patient calm and still and to enable us to perform the procedure as quickly as possible.